Now we have on the screen right now, I don't know if you can see it, Bitcoin back above 60,000. And I, I know you're on the West Coast, so I uh, appreciate you may not wake up at the beginning of our show every day at, at, at 3 a.m. your time, 6 a.m. Uh, our time. But Joe and I were talking about the other comment that was made by Jay Powell in terms of uh, his justification or rationale for not uh, moving faster on a on a digital dollar or, or getting into crypto. He was making an argument that, that Americans love cash. And, and Joe asked what I thought was a very smart question, which was, how much work do you think that Jay Powell um, has done on this topic? You know, we have Coinbase's IPO this week. There's a lot more interest than ever uh, in Bitcoin, in crypto. Um, you either have to you either have to have a view that the world is changing uh, or that this is a collective delusion. And, and by the way, it could be both. So I think the world is changing. I think we're getting a lot more adoption of um, crypto and Bitcoin in particular for both positive reasons, people who see this as the future, and for, for less positive reason, which is people see this as the best macro hedge. And we need to think about that. How has it come to the point where we think of a volatile Bitcoin as the best macro hedge, but that's reality. I do think, Andrew, there's a lot of work being done in the central banking community on crypto, on central bank cryptocurrency. The BIS in particular that brings together all the central banks have, have, have been, has been looking at that. So there's a lot of work going on. Don't be fooled. Central banks are looking at this very carefully.